In our last video, we found a spongy floor in our aft cabin on our boat, and we had to open it up to see what was causing it. Found some rotted wood, and decided we needed to come back with some heavy duty saws and tools to rip the rest of the floor up. So, looks like we got plenty of space here. So I'm gonna start opening up this a little bit more. It helps to keep the dust down quite a bit. Before cutting the floor with the circular saw, my main concern was to make sure we had enough space between the surface of the floor and the top of the solid core hull. The last thing we needed was a hole in our hull. Go. It just pulls right up. And there's the hole just a few inches underneath. So plywood was, I mean, it looks like it's sitting almost right on the hull. So the water really had nowhere to go. It's it's soaked into this. You can see there's no fiberglass on the bottom of that plywood. And as I look underneath, this board goes pretty much up to here. And I don't know how far back underneath that. So I'm gonna pull it all out. But the curvature of the hull sort of comes up where it meets this bulkhead here. We picked up a new blade for this multi-tool here. It's a little wider make it easier. The, the teeth are a little bit more aggressive and it's a bimetal blade from Dremel. Try not to forget wetting it down. hear it but you could in there that's where it gets glassed in that floor so the plywood doesn't go all the way in it's, it's only going about that far and then it's glass underneath there so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of all this rotted wood this fiberglass along the edges here here it's very sound very strong what I plan on doing is I'm going to use this lip as a support for the new plywood floor that I'm going to put down. And I'll have it rest on this piece of sound fiberglass all the way around the perimeter. So I'll have, say, a couple inches, see how far back I'm going to cut it to get to the wood. And um, I'll use this lip all around as the support for the plywood board which I will put down. Back this way is, you can see the screwdriver goes all the way in. That connects to the mid bilge pump, which is behind this, under this seat here, uh, which those with a 341 are familiar with, that bilge pump. So that was the bilge pump that was supposed to pump all this water out. And uh, I don't know why it didn't get the water out, so it, it sat here and rotted out all this wood. So. We'll pull all this rotted wood out, clean it up, cut back our fiberglass, and uh, continue on. There we go. So you can see that's where the, the plywood floor ended, which is right underneath there. underneath there so you can see it only goes in a few inches about half a finger length underneath so we'll get all that rotted wood out and then it's just fiberglass from there on in
There we go. That's the strongest, biggest piece. <laughs> Same thing. You can hear the fiberglass behind us. So we'll just get all this bad plywood out. Alright, we're, uh, we're all cleaned up, got all that loose rotted wood out, I think what I'm going to do now is just clean up the edges of the carpet a little bit, so the wood will fit flush with the existing fiberglass. Okay, we cleaned up the uh, the edges of the rug pretty good and I think it's going to be ready for some final measurements for the board. So uh, let's get that done. Looking good. We're getting there. To replace the floor, I went to Home Depot and picked up a 4x8 sanded piece of 2332 inch plywood. This board is nearly three quarters of an inch thick and much stronger than the half inch plywood that was used by the manufacturer. This thicker plywood eliminates the need for any additional structural support. It really surprised me how large this board looks outside of the boat, yet the area inside the boat seems so small. Okay, well, for the big reveal, I'm going to show you what our plans were to surface this. I came across this online, and what I liked about it is it's got a nice non-skid surface. It's soft. It's, you know, it's like a foam, a PVA plastic, whatever they call it, foam. The entire back is a peel and stick. So, once this gets cut, you just peel the back off and you can stick the whole thing down to the board. So that is going to be the plan for the floor. I bought this whole roll here. I forgot how long it is, but it's more than I need for $50. And uh, if I tell you where I got it, you're going to be very surprised. I just happened to find it when I was searching for this foam, fake teak, uh, foam teak, whatever they call it. Um, it was actually sold by Walmart, so uh, the quality seems very good. You know, it's got a nice surface. It's not just, uh, you know, it's got some dimension to it there. So I think it's going to look pretty good, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Only 50 bucks. Um, if I don't like it, I pull it up and uh, go with something else. But I won't put this down until I glass resin this entire board. I'm going to resin both the top side and the bottom, the sides so that uh, we don't get any more moisture issues and this board doesn't warp and uh, it'll probably help with this adhering to uh, the resin rather than just the wood so uh, that's the plan <laughs> 